Since emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, Uganda has recorded 40,591 cases with 334 deaths and 15,099 recoveries. As of 16th March 2021, Uganda had only 25,158 active cases with a tremendous reduction of new infections. Even then, means of health seems not to lose guard on the fight to ensure total elimination of the pandemic across the country. Tuesday morning, means of health embarked on a nationwide seroprevalence survey for COVID-19 to understand the magnitude of the pandemic in the country. Flagging off the survey team, the Minister for Health, Jen Rutha Cheng said, the survey is intended to identify the risk factors for severe disease define the rates of symptomatic vis-a-vis -vis the asymptomatic infections in the population. We are aiming at unmasking silent clusters that may have gone undetected. In order to guide national response efforts, this will involve multiple teams traveling to the districts and collecting information and specimen from selected population groups and communities. So what are we saying? We are saying that it is possible that many people could have gotten infected and we did not know. So if we pick samples from them and run some antibody tests, then perhaps we'll be able to unmask who got infected and we did not know. To identify the target population, the survey team will collect both blood sample and a nozzle swab from household members to assess the possibility of past infection of COVID-19, which will in turn help in the monitoring efforts. We shall be able to understand the extent of virus penetration over the past one year and define the emerging risk categories. The CERO survey will be the third survey conducted by the means of health since the outbreak of the pandemic, with the previous ones having been for risk categories. It is worth noting that this survey comes at a time when Uganda has just rolled out nationwide vaccination of herpo plants against COVID-19 after securing 964,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine early this month. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.